We're still under this current invasion arc, but plot twist. The demons aren't just attacking where we are. No, 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 no. That was a bait. This is to distract everyone and basically pull the resources out of the other nation's kingdom bases so that the demons can then launch an attack on them. That's actually fucking brilliant. Also, Rembrandt and his friend have some sussy dialogue about how the light of his love, you know, about how like his daughters like remind him of the that was some sussy as dialogue. But some of you were to clarify that it's actually not that creepy. Now, what is Makoto gonna do? Save everyone? Honestly, me, I just wanted the demons to run over the humans, but that's just me. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> CGI nights. You think Makoto's gonna save everybody? I mean, they have Hibiki and fucking Trash Moki, right? Use your fucking heroes instead. What? I didn't know that. Wait, they were disguised? What? Okay. I don't remember them disguising into that. What the fuck? I'm sorry. This this fake sword that teleports is on its cooldown. I'm sorry about that. So what are we gonna do? No, we're doing this to make them like work in our favor it's not like oh sorry the cooldowns that we can't help you anymore right unless we try to actually do that and say fuck you just fucking get run down well they get indebted to us like this what are you gonna do bro sure you Seeing Lily like this is weird because usually she's so fucking serious. Chibi Lily is. Huh. Oh my god, Tomoe! Oh my Tomoe acting skills right now! Oh no! The sword that supported the trading company! It can't be helped. We need to help these people. And then if we do this, the kind of rewards that we're gonna get from Lily and the king, dude, it's gonna be so much greater, right? It's just gonna let them know. Oh no, we gotta sacrifice everything to help you guys! <laughs> They got a fucking high school, like, you know, in like high school act like culture festival stuff, whenever they have like a show to put on. This is like the background prop. They got the fucking high school background prop ready for the acting. <laughs> and we use a sword. Joshua. <gasps> no, the sword! <laughs> it broke, guys! No, good, good acting skills. Good job, Tomoe. That is true, the demons are smart of them, we just are smart of them there too. They're absolutely right, they had no fucking clue about it. Bunch of fucking idiots, we hustled them. Wonder what uh, Tomo is gonna do now. Good acting skills. But, but Makoto and Hibiki, they do know, right? Me too! <laughs> Luto basically highlighting all the things that Makoto has done. Naturally unlucky person? Really? Is Luto onto something here? What's that? Is that the goddess? The goddess? Oh shit! Ah oh, shit, it's the beam of light! Oh no! Oh, what the fuck is coming, bro? Ah oh, shit. So whenever she does this, isn't this when she like summons people? Or maybe it's like they're summoning down Trash Malky right now. Oh, okay, we're getting teleported. Where's she taking us, potentially? It might look bad. We should just go. Fuck him! I hate them all! Okay, here we go. We're getting summoned. Oh boy. We haven't been here since episode 1, season 1, huh? This is the actual goddess's lair. Holy shit. Who's worse, Aku or this bitch? 100% this goddess. Because Aku is dumb. She's not intentionally, like, annoying or evil. She's just a dumb alcoholic. This goddess? Super narcissist, egotistic cunt, dude. I hate her. 
Mata koko ni kuru to stara aizu ni. Where's she? Waka sama? Gonna slap for today? Fukkireta to yu ka. King of jibun katte o sa. Oh. Amane o suru no ne. Misumi. Oh my gosh, she calls us Misumi too, not just Makoto. Kore wa megami. Still can't see her face. Why is it? My theory is that the goddess is actually ugly. There's got to be a reason why they've never actually shown us her face. Everything else, character design-wise, you know, proportion of the body, it just seems like she's super hot. But this entire thing is based on, like, vanity and looking good, and the humans are supposed to look good because that's what the goddess loves. Wouldn't it be super poetic if she's, like, truly fucking ugly? I know that, like, outside she might look beautiful, but inside she's disgusting. But, like, if the reason why they don't see, they don't, like, explicitly show her her eyes just yet is because she was ugly the entire time, like, oh, that would be amazing. Another name we haven't heard in a long time. The moon god from our world. Bitch, we clutched that war for you. Do it yourself, bitch. Do it yourself, but she fucking... She... That's the thing. She always, like, acknowledges Makoto. Even that time. Why did she summon us in season one finale? It was because Hibiki and, you know, Trash Malki, they were so trash, right? It was like, oh, things are looking bad. And then the goddess is like, fuck, fuck. I might have to send my strongest hero in there, even though I hate him. So even now, even now, she's like, fuck. I, I admit... I admit, you are pretty good. So you gotta go there right now and help out Trash Mauki. Or actually, he's not gonna be there. Hibiki's gonna be there. Yeah, why don't she go handle shit? What if I say no? What if I say no, though? I'm down! Yeah, we do. The humans are fucking trash, dude. The demons are at least... Well, well, I think there's good humans and bad humans and good demons and bad demons. Yeah. Mm, Actually, like, like she could delete us. That's kind of scary. I didn't know that you could do this. She capped it. I think she's bluffing. This is great. Oh, oh, it's been a long time since we've seen the goddess. Last time, she is so disrespectful. And yes, we are disrespectful too, but she fucking sucks. I've been waiting for the moment that we come back here and talk some mad shit. We are talking straight heat today. <laughs> What's she doing? Shiki? What's going on, Shiki? If that pixie thing was not here to stop, would we have died here? What was that? Because Shiki was like, hold the fuck up. Wait, 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 wait. What, what, what was this? I'm not sure what the goddess was about to do there. Saved by the pixie, though. Original. Original <laughs> meathead. Moon God. Moon God? No, it can't be, right? Huh? Throw me a fucking bone, bitch! What are we gonna actually wish for? What are we actually gonna wish for? Uh... Fuck. I don't know, actually. I don't... I never really thought about this. I just wanted to show up and talk mad shit. <laughs> well, the point wasn't here to demand something. The point was to just talk mad shit. And then I never really thought about what I wanted. Finally, no more ding and then reading text. Oh my god. Oh. Poor Shiki. Shitty goddess. This is so passive aggressive on both sides, dude. Oh my god, so toxic. I love it. 
knowledge overwhelming or understanding the alphabets. Wait, it's not working? Is she trolling us or what? This is actually the reaction Makoto has from being able to grant the ability to talk common. He's actually bleeding from that knowledge? What the fuck just happened? Why was it so incompatible? What the fuck? Something else happened here, right? What the fuck happened? It can't be just as simple as her granting us the ability to talk the common tongue here. Something else must have happened. Yeah, this is basically downloading like a huge ass DLC pack, right? <laughs> It's like fucking 500 terabytes of fucking DLC packets were just being downloaded in like an instant. So was that too much for him to handle or like, I don't understand. Is there something specific, like special about Makoto that like prevents him from getting like, like there's some compatibility issues? I, I, I don't know. Something, maybe the goddess is being shitty intentionally. It's either those two, right? Shitty intentionally or something about Makoto is so special that it's kind of like rejecting. <laughs> What, ha what happens if we disobey a god? What do you mean? Hold up. If you break a promise to a god, you know what will happen. Do we know what will happen? Has that ever happened to us before? I don't really remember this kind of mechanic. What did she say? You will know what will happen to you if you break a promise to god. She didn't say anything. There's no implied threat here. Did she say it? You say that's what you want. I'll grant you death. If you can't, then I'll kill. While you're at it, take four Stella. That's where Rona and that EO is, guys, right? Then I'll kill. I'll grant you death. Different wording. Because, like, earlier, too, we called her out on her bluff. Like, why don't you just kill us right now if you can? But then again, the pixie showed up, right? The pixie did show up as soon as she tried to do something with her hand. So maybe she wasn't bluffing. No, I honestly don't know what will happen if we try to break a contract to a god. I understand. She just said, I'll kill you. Sorry, I'll grant you death. But then she said, you know what will happen to you if you break a promise to a god. I'm just going to assume that it's about, you know, dying here. What an interesting meeting with the goddess. The most interesting thing probably isn't, um... The most interesting thing isn't really like the DLC packets being downloaded. Also, this is very interesting. I think like the other original world. They're from the original world. Let me hear the dialogue here just again when the pixie shows up. Because she's about to kill us, I think. Shiki senses something. Again. Sorry, original world is the word. Original world. Big sound. And she's actually terrified. She's actually scared. The pixie is anyways, and the goddess seems more annoyed. Original world. Which world does it appear referring to? Our world? No, there's many different worlds here. This is an isekai world, and we just happen to be from Earth. But then again, the map of this isekai world, doesn't it literally look like Japan? There was a reference before about how the map, the, the, the way that the fucking... Our, our, like the ge is it geology, right? The right word? Anyways, the map, right? It just looks like Japan, right? So like, and there's a meathead, they, that meathead came in here. I don't know. It's not gonna be fucking our dad. No, I doubt it. Original world. Do we really know enough at this point? Who could scare the goddess? The moon god? Is the moon god a meathead though? I don't think he is. I don't really know. Cause like the moon god showed up in one episode, gave us a shitload of powers and this, and then said, Bye bye now. I'm gonna go like fucking sleep. I'll see you in a long time. So I don't think now is the right timing either. I, I'm not sure if there's enough information here for us to kind of guess on who this like you know, uh, who, who this person could be. But very interesting dialogue. Very fucking interesting dialogue. Right now we have a mission though. Basically, take down. Sorry, help Limia and take back for Stella. Maybe we can collaborate with Hibiki now. And then the rest of the season is kind of going to be like the beginning of this season. The beginning of the season started off by kind of highlighting the different heroes. Like, and they were trying to take Fort Stella. And this time, Makoto will be there with Hibiki. Hopefully not charge Malki and do that. But yeah, the original world that this current world is based upon. And if that's the case, 
the map of this place looks like Japan, could you not infer that the original world is therefore Earth? I don't fucking know, man. Bye-bye! Direct flight, you mean a drop? <laughs> the first time when we got Isekai, second time, you know, the season one finale, third time now. I mean, roller coasters gets kind of boring after a while, guys. What is going on? Very interesting plot. Make us bleed. Oh, we're taking our big boys out? That is the demon continent, right? That's the place where our parents are from and the blue haired girl is at, right? That's the place that they were chased out from, so we're gonna retake it. We finally got the orders. Okay, we're going. We're going. Finally, dude. I felt like we were stuck at that academy for a long fucking time. Honestly. <laughs> I feel the same. This is like Mushoku Tensei shit too, bro. Mushoku Tensei too. Because we were stuck at that fucking academy for the longest fucking time. And we're like, come on. Come on. Let's fucking go. Let's, let's adventure time. Let's get the fuck out of here. And now uh, we were stuck here for a long ass time. And now we're like, all right. The incontinent. Take back Kadadio. Let's fucking go. Take back Limia and Force Stella. All four seasons. Yeah, that was an actual order. Like some command, bro. Dude, I want Tomo Tomo to like give an epic speech. Oh, you heard it! <laughs> okay, let's go, Tomo. Yo, look at the drip. Look at the armor. Emma, Emma is dripped out, bro. Look at Emma, bro. <laughs> All out war. Whoa! Oh, here's the demons. Uh, Mio has been doing like reconnaissance work with her webs. Got it, got it. Tomoe can read into Mio's mind while Mio is reading them through the webs? What? Mio could probably solve this, dude. Like, is there anyone here that could compete on the level of Mio and Tomoe? I don't think so. Like, if even if Rona or Io was here, could they beat Tomoe and Mio? I I don't think such beings exist, right? I don't think a demon general is on Tomoe or Mio's level. I... Oh my god, Emma's hooves. 100 versus 2000. Doesn't matter though. What's the plan, Emma? Complete and total victory, dude. Let's go! Let's go, Emma! Dude, it's been a while since so we had Emma in a while. What is that sound? Uh oh! <laughs> we didn't even need to do it, but we're like, nah, fuck it, we're still gonna do it. Arrows? Baldi or? <laughs> some kind of buff, some kind of buff on Diagonus. Let's go, yo! Grab the pass, okay, let's go, lizards. I think she was the one that was training with the student before, yeah? It's a girl. God damn! Bang! <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you are weak, we cannot fight a full strength either. What is that? Who are these girls? Are, are they the spider girls? They, they, are they the evolved form of the Alkis, right? Yeah, the Alkis, right? Yeah, yeah. Before, their eyes, you know, their eyes were like different, but now they, look, they don't have the Alki eyes anymore. Yo, where's, where's the Gorgons at? Wait, 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 where's the Gorgons at? Ah, that's the script. Kind of like Yom in Falmuth right now. He's the champion, he's the king next to V. So these two are gonna be like the puppets that we're gonna put all the credit onto. Okay, okay, okay. Arsland oh. Igaino, Kizoka, Horobite now, Kuzuno Hashokai to you, Kyoryoksha, Kiseki no Kuni. 
Ooh, nice scripts. Okay, where do we get skills to revive a nation, though? <laughs> They're gonna get to fucking work. Plow the fucking fields, cut some fucking trees. You didn't sign up for this shit? You putting me in a manual labor? <laughs> Who's gonna be Mio's first victim? You should have stayed down! The Demon King. Um, have we ever met the Demon King? So far, I know of the Demon Generals, like Rona and Eo, but I don't, like, not even like a caricature, right? Not, not even just like some kind of shaded figure. So a Demon King does exist in this world, okay? Just one single Demon King that rules over all of the demons? Okay, Vio, okay. Left a mutant Mildy Dragon. We're simple merchants. <laughs> it's just been resurrected, but sure. So we'll take back Kerunion and take down for Stella, right? Your meal's getting a little scary. Damn! Your left has no chance. The hero? Do you think the heroes are anything compared to Mio? Oh my god. Uh, fuck Gritonia. Trash Malky can handle it. Oh no! Trash. 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 Fuck your armor. Fuck your weapon. Fuck your power. Fuck your entire personality. Ugh! <laughs> Disgusting. I, I, I do like Hibiki though. And that is the episode. Today's episode, gotta be the best one so far. Gotta be one of the best one. Ah, season two. There has been some great moments here and there. But overall, this entire episode, I think, is my favorite episode. Because now we're actually going to that next stage. We have been not stalling, but we've been kind of stuck in this, you know, academy setting and teaching the students. And we had a tournament arc and the demons attack. And that was all good. That was all nice. But finally, the plot is progressing and taking back, you know, the, the Karaneon or something. The place that our parents were also from and the blue hair girls were from. As well as getting an order to take down Forstella. The goddess's dialogue here was so interesting. Also, it's so fascinating that we were able to shit talk back to the goddess this time. Because last time, bro, we just got insulted and thrown out. This time, at least we talked shit back and then got thrown out. Two things that I think is very interesting. The first thing, I guess, is the uh, big amount of DLC package that we downloaded by getting the language of the common tongue down. Why did Makoto struggle so much? During the... Like, like when he was receiving the knowledge, I think the goddess also said something that's, that might have inferred that... Something special about Makoto that is, like, rejecting this. And maybe there's some lack of compatibility. There's no way that being able to just learn that language makes him bleed from his eyes and nose. So either the goddess was just being extra shitty and doing something on top of that... Or there's something different about Makoto that made him, you know, react like this. I'm not completely sure. And then the most interesting thing is the dialogue of how the goddess could apparently just kill us, right? I'm not sure if that was a bluff, but there was a moment where she was, you know, putting her hand up. And then the pixie showed up. She said that they are here. And then apparently it's like some kind of meathead. The door was shaking and the goddess says something along the lines of uh, the original world. What does the original world mean? Well, you gotta base something off of the original world. Does that mean that this isekai world here in Skimichi Moon Fantasy is based off of some original world? And we have already talked about how the map of this place just kind of emulates Japan. So what does that really mean? There's a lot of pieces and puzzles coming together. I can't really piece it together, but I'm serious. Some of you guys can explain to me in the comments as long as you don't fucking spoil me. And as long as you're not a fucking light novel reader. If you already read the light novel, then you just fucking spoil me. So don't do that. Don't do that. And then finally, we're getting straight up to war. Has some great speeches from Emma and Tomoe. Mio's being fucking vicious as usual. And next episode, ooh. I hope that Hibiki can stand her own. I want to collaborate with Hibiki. And I think something great can happen. Makoto also knows Hibiki from back in... Because they went to the same high school. Trash Malki, nah, I hope he fucking dies. That guy motherfucker, he just fucking sucks. I hate him. I hope the worst of him. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.